Today we're looking at some quality of life changes that Rare should implement into the game just to make things a bit more streamlined. Some of these are fixes to points of frustration for me and some are things I see brought up by the community. Keep in mind some may be a little bit controversial. Without further ado, here's 10 quality of life changes for Sea of Thieves. Just going to get it out of the way because it's been done to death. We need to be able to change our ship type without changing servers. It's been a highly requested feature, but I imagine it'd be quite difficult to implement, otherwise Rare would have done it by now. I think to keep it fair, you can only do this a limited number of times per session, maybe twice, and the new ship spawns with no supplies. It would be nice to be able to start an adventure when you know your third or fourth crew member is due to be on later, and you can get started without having to finish up, sell, and start building supplies up again. There, it's out of the way. Let's move on. I personally think you should be able to place a crate next to a barrel and move the supplies directly into it, but only on the barrels, not on your ship. My poor X button has been rogered more times in the copper's radio, and one day it will give out on me. But before this happens, Rare should add this small fix to prevent premature X button death. You should be able to only do it on the land barrels, and here's why. If you're about to defeat a ship, they could easily empty their crates to deny you supplies. I know the battle is already lost, but it would stop them gaining your supplies if you went back to sink them. Alternatively, if you sneak on a ship or board it, you can empty an enemy's supplies in a few seconds. Essentially, it would only work on island barrels just to shave some time off resource gathering. I've seen some people argue that you should be able to buy supplies like cannonballs and planks from the outpost with your gold. This would be so broken and unfair to new players, it's a bad idea and would take away from the prep before an adventure. What I do propose, however, is that you can claim a free robo and supply crate at the outpost before you set off. That way you can load up and get cracking on your voyage quicker without having to look for a robo or supply crate on an island. I think one per session would be fair, it wouldn't break the game and it would just make the initial prep that bit quicker. No, I'm not talking about the ship. Get rid of the f***ing brig on the sloop. It serves no function and is still left over from when Rare was planning to allow more than two on a sloop. As this has been ruled out, delete that fucker and put a bed so I can snuggle with the lads. Or lad. Sort it out, Rare. Have you ever loaded into a server, loaded up your ship ready for battle and set off for a session of intense PvP only to not see a single ship, like, at all? I think there needs to be a way of checking if the server is dead, and yes, I know there is the emissary table where you can see ships representing each faction, but all non-emissaries are still invisible. So I propose there should be a ship ledger or a board with a number from 1 to 5 to show you if the server is dead or not. Yes, I know server hoppers would have a better time finding active servers, but the benefit would be twofold. If you are on a dead server, it may encourage people to leave to force you to server merge, and they don't waste their time on a dead server. Alternatively, you could look for a dead server to PvE to your heart's content and never have to struggle for your loot. But there's always the chance that you can be attacked. If Rare aren't going to drop the captaincy update anytime soon, at least find us a way to save a few ship and outfit combos. I absolutely hate having to manually put on the bloody Leviathan's colours each session. I rarely change, and it just takes up a decent amount of time for such a simple task. Think how long it has taken us all cumulatively to do this. Must be over an hour if you've been playing for a long time. I rarely change my outfit for my pirate, but I know some people do have a few cool combos already set up, so let us save them and change them. I have a feeling this will be a very memory intensive thing for the server or a a large amount of data to be stored but it would be nice if it was added to the game. I used to do a lot of solo slooping and you have to often entertain yourself so I used to play a lot of shanties. The wind is always changing in Sea of Thieves as are the waves knocking you off course. It is incredibly frustrating to have to adjust the ship and start your song all the way from the beginning. I think it would be a great idea to add a small music box to play music for you so you can multitask or that shanties have a 5 second or so cooldown so you can carry on before having to start again. Not game changing, but it'd be a nice little touch. So, don't get me wrong, I really loved Ships of Fortune, but my lord, getting rid of the 6th ship on the server has really affected the emergent encounters and can make the game feel eerily empty at times. It was originally done to combat server lag and hit reg issues, which it didn't, and it really was a detrimental change. I want hit reg to be fixed as much as anyone, but changes like that that are meant to help and don't really do frustrate me. The frequency in which you see ships was fine tuned before launch and was designed to make the game not feel too vast or feel like a boating lake. The ship server size was thrown under the bus as a haphazard attempt at fixing an issue that hasn't really improved at all. Will it be worse if they add a sixth ship? Probably. Has hit reg noticeably improved since this change? Absolutely not. 
This is something that really perplexed me when the game first came out. For me, it was strange to have a range in loot values for the same items. Like, I sort of get why it was done to keep people surprised, but I don't think we need to rely on RNG for loot value. You could say it's for lore reasons, it's based on how much gold is in a chest, fine. But why does the Order of Souls and Merchants pay differently for the same items? Same with the Reapers, surely they would give you a flat reward because they don't give two shits about gold. I think Rare should adjust the loot values to be a fixed level, so you have a reasonable expectation of what your cargo is worth, but keep voyage values random. It's never made sense to me and still doesn't from a gameplay perspective, especially because some of the items do have a fixed value. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks about this, but let me know if this bothers you also. I've saved the best to last and was going to make a big video about this, but determined it would be a bit excessive. Hit reg is my biggest issue with this game and I guess we can couple that with lag too. I know you're trying rare and I love your game, but PvP has gone from mild inconvenience to like pulling teeth. It takes the fun and skill out of the game if time and time again you have to rely on randomness to win. I've been hit from miles away with the sword, shot by the sniper and pistol that went miles wide and the only one I have no issues with really is the blunderbuss, but even then, uh, it's questionable. I have been on the receiving end and have been the one to dish out the bull a lot recently. It really does diminish my experience and frustrates me to no end. We know you have a team working on it, but at what point do you have to step back and admit you cannot fix it? If this is the case, I would be happy to wait for a new game built from the ground up with your limitations in mind. I know I'm ranting here, but these limitations seem to affect combat, content and basic gameplay design, and I have my suspicions that it's a combo of the need to support old hardware and the server limitations. I think the problem is far more complex than any of us understand, and that's fine, but PvP is not fun when you cannot reasonably have a fair fight based on skill. Other factors contribute to PvP's skill ceiling, but RNG just seems to ruin it. There. Rant over. I know I have been positive about the game recently, but these are just some minor gripes I have with the game. Obviously not including the last one, I would call that a major gripe. Just to reiterate though, I still love the game and will continue to make content for you. What quality of life changes would you like to see? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, and if you're new here and enjoyed the content, drop a like and subscribe. You've still got a week left to enter my captaincy video giveaway and we have a 5k giveaway on the horizon. You f***ers are going to make me broke. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.